guys are unbelievable. Manager? Uh, no. Band girlfriend. Oh. I'm too nervous to watch. I totally get that. I'm Joe, by the way. Elise. Nice to meet you. Incredible. Can you believe it? You guys killed it. Wait, do you have your phone on you? Joe, can you take a quick photo of us? Yeah, for sure. I'll need that. I'll need it. All right, give me some horns, ladies. I'm a living ghost. My existence has become purgatorial, abiding somewhere between the burning rage of past hurts and the ache for a hopeful future. A future that felt so close, only 18 months ago. The address was wrong, but the city was right. It took a long time, but I found him. It didn't matter. All the images in my mind of jamming Stevie's gun into his temple, making him explain himself, making him beg for mercy, melted into a blur, like a watercolor left out in the rain. I found him at a park yesterday pushing his daughter on a swing. They were laughing. I could see the love in his eyes. Had I only imagined that there was a monster waiting at the end of this, is he simply an agent of karma? For a moment, he looked right at me. I guess he didn't recognize me. He smiled one of those smiles you give the cashier at a supermarket. I went back to talking with this little girl. Right then, the gun in my backpack became so, so heavy. I turned my back on them and returned to this motel room, my home for the last year and a half, knowing it was over. I didn't mean to be away this long. I didn't mean to miss Laird and Cassidy's wedding. I didn't mean to cut off communication with everyone. I didn't mean to use up all of Stevie's money, but I've never been good with intentions. I'm leaving tonight. I'm letting this and everything else go. Today is my birthday. I've got enough money left for one last good time and two tanks of gas. Then I'm going to take a trip to the most haunted, beautiful place I know. The place where God lives. used to driving that long again. Three hours. My new post accident record. 
I know you just have to turn around and go right back. Not bad. Okay. I mean, it's not the cozy shithole we've been calling home for the past three years, but it will do. Did Cassidy get like a fat headhunter bonus from the new firm or something? Oh, I don't know. He had some money saved up. Laird still technically owns the store, so. Yeah, I don't know. I just hope I can get a job soon. Really not scrubbing DNA off a of motel wall? Yeah, I cleaned up enough crime scenes to last me a lifetime. Oh. Ch -ch -ch changes. It's time to face the strange. <laughs> My dear is a rock and roll dream. Never gonna happen in Dane City. I know, but so much happened there. So much awesome, crazy. Shitty, boring, heartbreaking. I know, but that's people, not places. Just like every day. I know. So the city just gets inside you. I hope it's consensual. It totally wasn't. Get rid of that wheelchair when we're done. You sure? Yeah, very sure. Wouldn't exactly fit in with my sister's decor anyway. I still have nightmares about it. Wet pavement reflecting the street lights. You lying there, screaming, holding that. That fucking shirt. That shirt! This shirt? Yeah, Daryl, yes, that shirt. <laughs> I remember looking for you and that doctor, that doctor didn't see me. Poor bastard's gonna be lucky to remember his name, let alone walk again. Look at old Timothy Nab reason around. Show him. Because of you. Pushed me when I could take it. Helped me up when I couldn't. That's love. Big love. Is it? Why did everything fall apart? Now I got so bitter. Big love doesn't get better. You have every reason to be bitter. Of course that's love. Just too big to be held back by romance. One day, I'll be there. The front row trying to start a mosh pit. Can't wait to see that. And if you ever get on a bike down without a skull bucket, I will personally. I promise I won't. Soon for one second to stay off the bike, you know. Alright, shall we? Thank you. Hey, happy birthday, Larry. Hi, Daryl. Thanks. No party? Uh, no, no. I uh, already unwrapped my birthday gift, so... Okay. <laughs> um, I'll take your stuff. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. You guys better get going before the weather turns and your mom freaks out. Right. <laughs> happy birthday, husband. Thank you, wife. Now get! It is girl time! Can I take your guitar? Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Thanks. Thanks again, Daryl. Yeah, anytime, Cassidy. What are you doing? I love you too. Hey. 
world has no idea what's coming for it. Should be perfect because my cousin lives up there. Look, I know this is kind of weird, um, but I promise I'm not a psycho. I have nothing to offer you or anything, but maybe some karma? Please. Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> 